Hey curl friends, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to create the small to large cornrow braid on really, really short hair. I've been seeing this trend everywhere and I thought this would be the perfect tutorial to share with you guys today. So we're starting off on clean hair. Her hair was already moisturized the night before, so I'm just going in with a spray bottle with water as well as my detangling comb and some leave-in just to reactivate the product and get her hair nice and soft so it's super manageable to begin parting on. So using a rat tail comb, I'm going to use the end of that rat tail comb to help me and guide me with this parting. I'm going to start off with the middle part and I'm just going to section off her hair into little tiny squares just to help me to part her hair much more easier. It's really really short hair so it's not as easy to hold the hair with just clips. You want to make sure that the parts on this hairstyle are super super defined and straight. So of course I started off with the front of her hair and then I just used that as a guideline to help me to create her parting. And now I'm just going to split that middle section down on the sides, the left and the right, to create the first two small cornrow braids. Using your rat tail comb, just section off a small slither of hair on either side, the left or the right, and create your two cornrow braids on the natural hair itself. No hair added. And on the left side, we're beginning our second cornrow braid. The idea for this hairstyle is pretty much a small cornrow followed by a large cornrow followed by another small cornrow. These small goody hair elastics are really, really great for separating the hair and keeping it out of the way. When you're dealing with really, really short hair, it's super easy to end up pulling hair from another section and making your parts become crooked or messy. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're getting that hair out of the way however you see fit. The left side of her hair is finally complete, so now we can move on to the right side. And I'm just going to be taking a slither of hair from that middle section again, but this time it's on the right side, and I'm going to create that cornrow braid again. And last but not least, the very last cornrow that's splitting the top section from the bottom half. And we're literally halfway done with this hairstyle. Now I'm just prepping for her very first large cornrow braid. I'm just watering down her hair and using some Eco Styler to base her hairline. And the hair that I'm using today is some 100% Kankalon braiding hair from the beauty supply store. They run about $1.99 on a pack or so. They're super, super cheap and affordable. And you just want to split that pack into half right in the middle where you see the rubber band. Grab about one inch sections of hair to set aside. That way you're able to just grab and go as you're braiding. Now you're gonna start off this braid with the natural hair. You're just gonna braid about three inches or so before you start to add in the hair. And now you're just going to grab the braiding hair and add it in with the three strands that you use to cornrow. Using the tips of your index fingers, you're just going to grab that braiding hair and incorporate it with the hairs that you're already braiding, which is your natural hair. So you have three strands to create this cornrow braid. You're just adding in that braiding hair to the existing three strands. And you're just going to continue adding in that braiding hair every few strands. So you're just going to braid for a little bit, add in some braiding hair, braid again, add in some braiding hair. This is what's going to create that small to large effect, which gives it more of a natural looking illusion. It doesn't look like you added in braiding hair whatsoever. As you can see here, I'm grabbing that braiding hair right where I was about to reach for the next natural hair strand to create my cornrow braid. I just incorporated the two strands of the braiding hair into two strands of her natural hair. If the hair begins to dry out, don't be afraid to use a spray bottle with water to add in some moisture and wetten up that hair a little bit to make it more easier for braiding. The last thing you want is frizzy or dry hair to braid on. But because we are braiding on a really, really short hair, you definitely don't want the hair to be extremely, extremely wet or slippery because it's already short as it is to begin with and it will be super, super hard to grip it tight enough to have that braid stay. 
So her very first cornrow is complete and I'm just using some Eco Styler to help to lay down her edges and give more of a nice sleek finish to the style. Now if you must add in some Eco Styler to create more of a sleek braid, you can definitely add in some of your favorite styling gel to the base of the braid. Just be sure to avoid getting that gel onto the natural hair itself. You definitely don't want this to become super, super slippery. As you reach the back of the head, you want to make sure that you're adding in the extensions much more often to create that small to large illusion. And once again, I'm just laying down her edges and continuing on to the middle braid. Now here's a slow-mo slash detailed shot of exactly how I'm creating these braids. I'm just grabbing hair from the top of the section. I'm cornrowing that section from the top and grabbing hair as I go. I added in the braiding hair right when I got a really, really good grip of her own natural hair, which is about two to three inches or so into the braid. Taking a small section of braiding hair, I just added it into the existing sections that I'm using to cornrow her own natural hair. And I'm just cornrowing that in and adding in the next section of hair. As I get towards the back of this braid, I'm adding in the braiding hair much more frequently to create that small to large illusion. Keep in mind that you want this to look as natural as possible. So adding hair from the start of the braid would look super unnatural because no one's hair starts off super, super thick. We all have pretty thinner edges. So it starts off small, gets large, and then it thins out towards the ends. So that's how this hairstyle becomes super, super natural looking and hard to tell that there's extensions added to it. So we're pretty much complete with the hairstyle. I'm just adding in some gel to tamed down some of her flyaways, trimming off some of the ends of the braiding hair, and she's pretty much complete. So a TWA can totally rock some cornrow braids, especially with extensions, and this is a great alternative to protective styling for a TWA to help grow out the hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please be sure to check out my other videos. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.